Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. Today we are back to coordinate geometry and we will tackle one of the most famous types of problems in basic coordinate geometry. That is, for given point A which is 4,2 and line L given as 2x minus 4y plus 15 equals 0, find point B such that A and B are symmetric with respect to line L. And just like many good problems, I will present you two methods both are pretty basic but beautiful. The first method is just simple simultaneous equations and the second method is by using good old vectors. So let's start with the first method. So the first method is simultaneous equations method and it does not require the knowledge of sort of advanced tools of analytic geometry such as vectors. So we have to find the coordinates of B which are unknown. So let B as x prime comma y prime. We used primes here because x and y are already used in this equation and thereby they refer to general arbitrary points rather than a specific point. So we have two unknowns, x prime and y prime, so we need two equations, which again means that we have to set up those two equations using two conditions that can be deducted from the problem. And of course, both conditions comes from the symmetry. First, let us consider the midpoint of line segment AB, which is this point M. Due to the symmetry condition, this midpoint M must be on this given line. And that's the first condition. The coordinates of the midpoint are these. 4 plus x prime over 2 and 2 plus y prime over 2. So these coordinates must satisfy the equation of line L. So we have 2 times x coordinate 4 plus x prime over 2 minus 4 times y coordinate 2 plus y prime over 2 plus 15 equals 0. So we have 4 plus x prime minus 4 minus 2y prime plus 15 equals 0. So we have x prime minus 2y prime equals minus 15. So we have obtained the first equation. And now we need the second equation. The second equation comes from this condition right here. Also coming from the symmetry condition, two lines a, b, and l are perpendicular. This means that the product of the slopes of two lines is minus one. From the equation, you can see the slope of line l is one half, and the slope of line a, b is, using coordinates of a and b, given as y prime minus two over x prime minus four. Therefore, the product one half times y prime minus 2 over x prime minus 4 equals minus 1. So we have y prime minus 2 equals minus 2x prime plus 8. So we have 2x prime plus y prime equals 10. So we have obtained the second equation. If we solve these equations simultaneously, we obtain point B. There are many methods to solve this system of linear equations. And if we solve it, we obtain x prime equals 1 and y prime equals 8. Therefore, point B is given as 1, 8. And here's the plot of the line and points using Desmos graphing calculator. The red line is given line L, and here's point A, and here's point B. And as you can see, they are perfectly symmetric with respect to the red line. Alright, so now let's move on to the second method, the vector method. Similarly, let M be the midpoint of line segment AB, which is on this line L. Throughout the solution, we will use essentially the same conditions. Point M is on line L, and lines AB and L are perpendicular. So try to understand how these two conditions are used in this vector method. Now for a given line L, there exists the direction vector V. From the slope of the line, we know that vector V equals 2, 1. Then, what will be the direction vector u of line AB? Well, since AB and L are perpendicular, the direction vector of line AB is just 1, minus 2, right? We basically switched the x and y coordinates of vector v and assigned minus sign on one of the coordinates so that the dot product of two vectors gives 0, which means perpendicular. Alright, so we have direction vectors of these two lines. Now, let us find out the equation of line AB using vectors. This means that if we denote x as an arbitrary point on line AB, there is a way to express this x using given information. 
And this point x can be expressed as the position vector OX by using this origin O as a reference point. It is worth emphasizing that vectors are another method to indicate points. Now, how can we obtain this position vector OX? Well, by using the given point A, we can obtain vector OX by position vector OA plus vector AX. Here, this vector AX is parallel to direction vector U, so we can write vector AX as just a scalar multiple of vector U, that is, t times vector u, where t is a real number. Therefore, we have vector ox equals vector oa plus t times vector u. This is the equation of line ab, since it is the expression for the arbitrary point x on that line, but expressed in vectors. Therefore, this kind of equation is called the vector equation of the line. Notice that the given point A and the information about the slope are contained in position vector OA and direction vector U respectively. Also, we can express this equation using coordinates, letting vector OX as an arbitrary point X, Y. Then, X, Y equals vector OA, so 4, 2, plus T times vector U, so 1, minus 2. So we have 4 plus T, 2 minus 2T. This is the equation of line AB, expressed using real number t as a parameter, so it is also called the parametric equation. Now, using this equation, we can find the midpoint M. Since M is a point on this line AB, point M, or the position vector OM, also can be expressed as this parametric equation. Now, for a specific value of t, and we want to find the value of t, when this point becomes the midpoint M. This can be done by using the fact that the point M also must be on this line L, thereby satisfying the equation of line L. So we have 2 times x coordinate, 4 plus t, minus 4 times y coordinates, 2 minus 2t, plus 15 equals 0. So if we simplify this, we have 10t equals minus 15. So we have t equals minus 3 over 2. This means that from this vector equation, when this point x is point m, then this point vector om can be expressed as vector oa minus 3 over 2 u. Now you can use the given point a and direction vector u to find the exact coordinates of m, but in this problem you don't have to because we only want the exact coordinates of point b. In that case, what's important is this vector am. And if you have learned vector subtraction, then you might know that this vector AM can be expressed as vector OM minus vector OA. So using this, we have minus 3 over 2 vector U. So minus 3 over 2, 1 comma minus 2. So now we can finally find point B or the position vector OB. It is given as position vector OA plus vector AB and this vector AB is exactly twice the vector AM, so we have 4, 2, and vector AM is given like this, so if we multiply 2, we have minus 3 times vector 1, minus 2, so 4, 2 plus minus 3, 6, so we have 1, 8. Therefore, point B is given as 1, 8. So this is the vector method. And if you get familiar with vector operations such as vector addition, subtraction, and dot product, this method is just as easy as the first method, and sometimes even easier. More importantly, this vector method can be expanded to similar problems in a slightly different setting. To where? Well, 